Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're gonna like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, then hey babies, welcome back. So today guys, we of course are going to be talking all things sex magic, which is why we have 18 and up in the title. Don't play with me, you are not legal, don't play with me. So if you are a child, get up off of here, okay? Um, and if you're grown, how you doing? Welcome to the party. We are going to be talking about sex magic. Um, Y'all know that every Monday on my Instagram, and if you don't know, now you do. Every Monday on my Instagram, I have a question box, spiritual Q&A, where you guys can ask me any questions that you have. And I answer questions, you know, on my Instagram on my Instagram story throughout the day. And I had a question last week about masturbation and if it was good, if it was cool, if it was like bringing negative energy. And that's something that I've, you know, heard before. I've had people ask me before about watching porn, um, about masturbating, about, you know, like on your journey, a lot of people take journeys of celibacy as well or abstinence, I forget which one is which, but um, you know, they take journeys of where they're abstaining from sex as well on their journey, you know, to protect their energy and make sure everything is good with them. But we also know sexual energy is very, very powerful. So today we're gonna be talking about, you know, the correct spaces to practice, you know, those beautiful energies making sure that we have the correct boundaries set, that we're in a safe space, that we're in a healthy space, because sex is great. Sex with yourself is great, and sex with a beautiful, healthy partner and or partners in a good relationship and a great adult, you know, consenting, beautiful relationship is great. The energies are amazing, the energies are powerful, and you can manifest a lot with those energies. So we know that we wanna tap into the energies, of course, um, so today we're going to be talking about, you know, healthy sexual relationships. I don't really think there's anything wrong with porn or masturbating or, of course, not sex. There's nothing wrong with any of that as long as we have a healthy relationship with these things. Um, it can be too much of anything. We can, you know, get addicted to anything and have too much of anything sometimes. So we're going to be talking about having healthy relationships with these things. And we're also going to be talking about some ways that you can manifest with your sexual energy with a partner or by yourself. Um, and we're also going to be talking about tantric sex as well. So I'm excited. It's going to be a good video. Video. Um, and yeah, if you're ready to see the tea, then just keep on watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, sex magic. The whole purpose and the reason that we even have sex magic is because sexual energy is very, very powerful. And whenever we climax or whenever we're on the road to our climax, all of our chakras are activated and all of our chakras are open and, you know, firing up. So there's a lot of beautiful energies and we literally can, you know, share spiritual bonds in these places. We all know about soul ties. And we've heard about soul ties, you know, that we pick up after we, you know, lay down with certain energies and stuff like that. So it's really not anything to play with. So if we know that sharing sexual energy is such a strong, powerful connection, it's like we might as well make sure that we are sharing it with the right people, with the right person. So definitely um, we want to make sure that we have boundaries set in place, that we're not laying down with people who are not worried about us. Okay, women, ladies, okay, if y'all are having sex and y'all are not having orgasms, then don't be having sex. I don't want to hear it. Don't do it. It's a waste of your motherfucking time. What's the point? Don't do it. Seriously. Especially with sex magic. Now, we are going to talk about tantric sex. And the point of tantric sex isn't the orgasm. But we know good and well, everybody do not know what tantric sex is. Okay? So, please. A lot of people just are not that good in bed. Which is fine. Everybody isn't. But it's all about communication. So, get comfortable talking about what you want especially if you're going to be practicing sex magic get comfortable talking to your partner talking to people that you're laying down with especially if you want to do sex magic now i wouldn't be doing this with any old one night stand any old random randy or random sally or whatever the case may be this is for work with people you know who you love people who you believe in people who care about you people who you want to grow with people who you know they're powerful you know that they are tapped in you know they're taking care of themselves because it's just as much about your energy as it is the other person's we both have to be in that space of intention. We both can be in that space of, you know, manifesting in the next level and, you know, like the dream and whatever the case may be. So we want to make sure that we are doing this when we are in a healthy space. We're doing it with someone who cares about our body, someone who cares about our enjoyment, our pleasure. Also someone who cares about the things that we're trying to, you know, do. We don't want to just be trying to have sex magic without letting our partner know that this is what we're doing. Like we want to let them know, like whenever you climax, you can think about certain things or set your intention to use your sexual energy to push, um, you know, just push your light and push your energy around certain things that you want. You can think about your success. You can think about your bank account. You can think about the family you wanna have. You can think about that degree. You can think about the things that you're trying to do and send all of that energy to, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest. Um, and of course, whenever we are talking about masturbation and having healthy relationships with that, for me, I say it's all about doing things with intention. And I feel like 
climaxing, especially if you're bored. I know a lot of people get into the habit where they can just masturbate because they're bored or they're bored so they're just turning on some porn or something like that because they're just bored and there's really nothing else to do. Um, but that is kind of just like wasting it because there is no intention. We're not trying to do something. And if you are that person that watches it when you get bored, you better have some intention when you get bored then. Whenever you get bored, try to manifest you some money, okay? Try to manifest you something. It's about intention and focusing on what we want. Um, and it's also as far as porn. I... The way I feel about porn, I don't think that porn, well, all porn definitely is not safe and it's not, you know, sex worker friendly. A lot of porn, especially on these big porn sites, these women are not getting paid. These men are not getting paid for the work that they are doing. These are actors who are literally getting their stuff pulled and posted on these sites for free. So... I would say if you want to watch porn, you better get an OnlyFans and subscribe to somebody. Seriously, that's very, very janky to be watching free porn. We ain't doing that no more because somebody is not getting paid for that, okay? Like, and we know how these porn websites is, all kind of charges and stuff. Don't be doing that. Go on OnlyFans, okay? Pay for some content. And if that's what you want to do, then do it. But... I feel like the purpose of sex magic is getting to the point where you're able to call on your sexual energy just to call on it. Like, you're not going to have to go and watch porn. You're not going to have to, you know, do that to get into that zone. Like, you'll have full control over your sexual energy. And I really feel like sexual manifestations and tantric sex allows you to really have control over your sexual energy. So you're not going to have to run to porn every time. So if porn is something that you watch sometimes, um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I feel like if that's something that you have to do every time you have sex or in order to masturbate you have to be looking at porn i would definitely pull a little back from it pull back pull back a little bit for me um and you know just try to use your mind use your head use your use your brain and think about the space that you want to be in like if you are picturing yourself as a millionaire in your mansion with the man of your dreams with the woman of your dreams with the partners of your dreams if you want to have multiple partners just living the life of your dreams like in the car of your dreams and the job of your dreams girl who is that not going to turn on stop playing okay like see yourself in that space and get excited about you being in that space so I would definitely say, um, you know, just tapping into your sexual energy um, in those ways. So I would definitely say if we feel like we watch too much porn or we need too much, definitely make sure you're paying for it. Okay, don't be no bootlegger. Make sure you're paying for it. And also, you know, try getting to that spot without the porn. Try doing it without that. Um, and, you know, let your mind, you know, stimulate you and give you what you need because sex manifestation is visualization it's you seeing yourself in those spaces so it's definitely going to be important that you're able to put those images in your head and give you what you need so definitely i would recommend doing that you can also speak things out loud whenever you're climaxing as well um if there are certain things again like think about the things that you want like your goals your manifestations your affirmations whatever the case may be it's all about speaking those things thinking those things putting that energy into the universe when we have that sexual energy you know going and moving for us so when we feel things going how they're going and we're in a very very good space everything is working fabulously we're in a healthy space it's fantastic it's amazing we are doing do we can literally you know put our brain in that space put your brain on your manifestations put your brain on the things that you're trying to you know tap into if you want to say these things out loud you can you can affirm these things but it's just about controlling your thoughts when you have these energies firing there's also some people who literally have sex on money like that's what they're trying to bring in so baby more power to you do it if you got to do it okay um whatever you need to really put yourself in that mindset and like visualize yourself take yourself out of your little apartment and visualize yourself in a mansion like you are not in your apartment anymore you were having sex in spain you were having sex in paris like see yourself wherever you want to be and put yourself in that space definitely of course in the end um when we're climaxing but you know throughout the entire experience of course I keep bringing up tantric sex, so let's just go ahead and talk about it. Tantric sex is something that you could do on your own or something that you can do with a partner. And it's basically about your senses and kind of sexually engaging all of your senses without an orgasm. Whenever you're practicing tantric sex, it's a lot of massages. It's about the lighting. It's about the music. It's about, you know, the candles. It's about the temperature in the room. It's about, you know, like literally waking up each of your senses like with sensuality and focusing on that energy and just sitting and resting in that energy and enjoying the journey to the climax and sometimes in tantric sex the point isn't even the climax the point is the journey there like tantric sex isn't about the climax it's about being in that space and if you are someone um that finishes quickly or if you're someone that just can't really get into it you're ready wham bam thank you man move on to the next um then i would definitely recommend tantric sex because it takes your mind off of the climax it focuses you on it makes you focus on the little things that you're getting to that point you focus on all of the tingles and every touch and every scent and it kind of just 
really puts you, you know, you get really, really locked in. You're really energetically locked in. Of course, I've done this before. You get really energetically locked in in the space and that helps you pinpoint this is my sexual energy because a lot of times we don't even know you know how to pinpoint or how to recognize when we feel turned on when we're in the moment because it can be over so quickly you know what i'm saying like especially like i said for women and i'm talking about women because men finish every single time please do not and if you are a man and you don't finish every single time then more power to you i understand i'm talking to you as well make sure you're with somebody that is caring about you like it's too many women that are not climaxing except when we are by ourselves and please you can sound off in the comments down below because i know you can mother fucking agree because we all can agree but um because that's something that women just go through you know but again tantric sex is great to do by yourself you know you can learn your body you can learn what sounds you like what kind of music you like what kind of lighting makes you feel your sexiest you know what kind of clothing or no clothing at all makes you feel your sexiest if you like massage if you like this you know the type of things you want to see the type of things you want to taste the type of things you want to feel on your body you know you just think about what you need to fully unlock you in that mode like in your perfect world in a perfect scenario sexually how would you get in that space what would you need to get yourself in that space you want to put a colored light bulb in you want you some blue light or some red light you want you know some jazz you know just like literally creating an ambiance creating you know an environment so again we're not wham bam thank you ma'am you know manifestation is all about the amount of power you know that we have built up and the amount of power that we're able to put out into the universe so it's like let's say we got a little session that's like three minutes it's like okay cool you've been thinking and focusing for three minutes and pumping it out for three minutes okay cool that's cute now imagine having a session that is for 40 minutes and we're going for 40 minutes we've been thinking about these things even speaking these things out loud seeing ourselves in these in these things seeing ourselves visualizing for 40 minutes and then we're able to push those energies out into the universe so tantric sex practices also allows you to kind of elongate the amount of time that you're in intimate spaces it also makes you focus on intimacy um and not so much you know sex just being intimacy there are so many other ways to get physically intimate without just sex um so yeah we want to make sure that we're doing those things tantra sex is great again it's great to help you really pinpoint and focus on your sexual energy it's going to be really good for you to um just recognize that within yourself you know, again massage lighting sounds taste smell you really want to make sure that when you're creating the environment for tantric sex you hit on every sense you want to make sure like okay what is the room going to be looking like what energy am i trying to bring in here what kind of vibe do i need rose petals do i need some candles lit like what vibe am i trying to put in the space so i would also say make sure that you're preparing your space when you're having sex at all you know make sure your room is clean make sure your space is clean make sure you're not in a bunch of clutter make sure you feel good beforehand like don't just lay down with nobody to get you in a better mood already be in a good mood you know make sure that you clear your mind that you clear your mind from any stress any worry any blockages because sex is also about relaxation and again whenever we climax all of our chakras are open that's not any mistake it's because you are open like we are relaxed we are free we are in a space of euphoria we're supposed to be um so yeah creating a space for yourself where you are relaxed where you are feeling good and also making sure that we're in a space with a healthy partner um you know that is meeting us halfway and meeting us you know along the way in our journey now, this is definitely not something to feel weird about um if you guys are feeling you know like weird or apprehensive about letting your partner know about this i would definitely tell you guys to just start off with tantric sex you know there is no real manifesting with that it's really just about you know length lengthening the four play honestly and making sure that you are enjoying yourself and fully tapping into all your senses and fully you know milking the experience instead of just trying to get to the end so you could start it off with that adding different things adding different tantric sex elements into the space that would be great and then after you are in a space where we have you know longer sessions we're going for a longer time we're enjoying more things we've discovered different things that we like intimately we know different things that we can do to each other it's like okay cool let's speak out some manifestations as well while you're in this space or you can just think those things to yourself but um i feel like we should all be with people who love to manifest and who love to use their power you know for for the greater good to get whatever they want um and you know why not i feel like if you explain you know to your partner the the power and the release and please girl it's not a woman or a man that doesn't ex understand the release of climax like you can understand how you can speak something to the universe and it's gonna come to you whenever you are in that space i feel like that's something everybody can relate to so i really feel like sex magic is a lot easier than it might look or seem it's really just about using your divine sexual energy especially women especially us using your divine feminine beautiful fantastic passionate creative energy 
in its best form, you know, in its best way. It's like us, especially, we need to be using sex magic. Like our energy is so powerful, y'all, and so fantastic. Girl, you need to be thinking about that bag, okay? At the end of the day, you need to be thinking about that degree. You need to be thinking about that car, that house, whatever, that health, that body, whatever you want to manifest, you definitely want to make sure you're focusing on those things because our energy in itself is so powerful, especially for us to just be cared about in the in the bedroom because a lot of women don't really have you know good experiences sexually across the board you know even if now we're in you know a healthy space sexually a lot of women deal with sexual abuse a lot of women deal with not getting what they want a lot of women deal with being coerced into sex a lot of women deal with being you know pressured into doing things we deal with doing stuff that we really don't want to do or just faking it you know what i'm saying our sexual energy is oppressed a lot along the way so these things allow you to tap into your own power and i definitely feel like we should practice this, of course on ourselves um do some manifestation you know while we are in our own space loving on us definitely feel like that would be really really good and it'll give you an, a deeper appreciation for your sexuality and for who you are and for your sexual energy please child please it is a very 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 big deal it's a very big deal and it is so important to pick wisely about who you choose to share your divine magic with we have divine magic regardless if you want to tap into it or not it's there so we definitely want to make sure that we are making use of it and of course, if any guys are watching this, um, you owe it to yourself, you know, to honor your energy and, you know, care about your energy and add more to the sexual experience. You know, we are animals. So, of course, we're going to have sex regardless, but definitely, you know, want to get the most out of our experiences. We want to make sure that we are enjoying that part of our life. Like physical intimacy is very, very important. And it's so much more than just you know, the, the orgasm, the climax. So we have to make sure we're enjoying the full experience and getting the most out of it that we can because when we do, we are able to tap into these energies very, very beautifully. And of course, we know as well, um, just a little bit about the sacral chakra. I have a full video about the sacral chakra. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. Um, but we know our sacral chakra is directly related to our intimacy. So doing sacral chakra work can definitely help you tap in, you know, sexually heal some things that you need to from your past. If you have any, you know, unhealthy sexual relationships in your past and things like that, heal those things. So we're able to have a different relationship with sex and see sex as manifestation, you know, see it as, you know, opening these beautiful doors to, you know, in the beginning, see it as you know a beautiful energy exchange that's going to elevate us and go into it with that intention go into it thinking those things and you will be able to bring those things into your space and into your life so yeah so yeah that is what i have for you guys i hope this video was helpful and gave you guys the tea that you needed on sex magic but yeah i will see you guys later of course thank you guys for being here i appreciate y'all um and yeah that is it i love you guys check the description box down below for all the links on the tea get into it and yeah i'll see you guys later bye guys bless